Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and uh, before we start, please uh, take to your attention but, uh, that we have to speak in a nice language. No insult, no name calling and let us have a good conversation. Christians, Muslims, Hindus, Buddhas, whoever we are. Today our topic is very interesting because yesterday there is something happened to me. I was in my bedroom and then I look from my bed and I saw an angel now this angel she was a female which is strange and she have two wings and uh, as you see in the picture I took selfie I mean uh, a picture uh, she was leaving my room I don't know what she was doing before she leaving I checked my wallet nothing is missing but I found under my pillow Quran and actually before this angel leave I felt that like there's somebody squeezing me I'm not sure what she was doing by that squeezing so today we are going to try to examine some people's statement I mean anyone can say he saw an angel angel came to you squeeze you I mean whatever so if there is any Muslim would like to call us and prove to us that Muhammad he was not imagining in the best scenario he say a UFO or maybe he saw a real angel so if somebody can call us show us help us please we need your help what is the proof that Muhammad he saw an angel Muhammad always is a kind of a person who have no witnesses for anything nothing A guy he came to us in from the middle of nowhere saying I there is a guy his name is Jibreel he came to me actually he himself he did not even know the guy who spoke to him the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the cousin of the uncle of her his wife is the one who told him the name of the angel can you believe it like now I saw this angel and she have a the wings are very weird by the way they look like a chicken wings so anyway I saw those wings yeah, the Arab used to have female angels before Islam. Absolutely. The, even the Quran says. Uh, but after Islam, you know, uh, Islam looked down at women and females. So Allah, he rejected that. There is no way Allah will have a female angels. All right. So... How a Muslim he believe in Muhammad that he you know he okay he saw an angel and this angel he came to him and he delivered him a message from God and uh, what is the proof? Any Muslim would like to call us? Who is a Muslim would like to call us and tell us how Muhammad was confirming that this is an angel, not maybe uh, you know a dream or something, and maybe he is fabricating. How we know? Anyone can tell us what is the proof? What the proof the Muslims they have in their pocket to prove to us that Muhammad he saw anything have to do with God? Any Muslim? <clears throat> we have a gentleman here, he called his wife Angel too. I don't know if you call your wife Angel, I'm not sure about your mother in law. What do you call her? Uh, don't answer, it's okay for your safety and your security. <laughs> so who is the Muslim want to help us and tell us how we can discover that Muhammad really he saw an angel any Muslim these days we hear you're like especially in America people speak too much about UFO just say UFO people are go crazy you know because people they love fantasy people they live they love mystery create now just uh, some ghost of I saw uh, I saw a book foot in my in my backyard what is the book foot or big foot but not book big big foot a <laughs> big foot <laughs> just create any lie and it's going to spread like fire and there is many they will support your lies I mean this is not something new so Muhammad the one who saw nothing have no proof have no witnesses and that yet you Muslims you want to take all your belief from one guy you see the Messiah himself 
in the Bible he says if I witness to myself my witness my witness in worth nothing all right guys Jesus himself he said if I witness for myself my witnesses have no value even he is he you know who he is who he is all the miracles he did all the so if I witness for myself my witnesses have no value so Muhammad have no witnesses how he can witness to himself Anyone? You want me to call this? Uh, this? Uh, why you don't call me, Mister Ekbal? Call me. Stop posting saying call me in this, call me in this. Here we go. You keep posting that. What about you? Call me. Call me. You call me. Any Muslim want to tell us how we can prove that Muhammad, he saw an angel? Because here, if we go and discuss the, in details, we will see that this man, he have a lot of problems. We can prove so easy that Muhammad is suffering from mental problem, illusion problem, delusion problem, mental issues, uh, uh, goes to every field in his in his life. This is very easy to prove. So who is going to do to call us? Who is going to help us? You see, I'm hoping today that we will have many Muslims who will call. Like yesterday, we have four callers. One of them, he left Islam. How many callers we will have today? And how many they will leave Islam? May they? May they? So... If you Muslims, you have no proof that Muhammad, he saw anything, how you believe him? Even in Islam, if you have a guy, he saw a woman having a, a, like illegal, if we can call it, illegal sexual intercourse. So uh, uh, you need four witnesses. So which one is more important? A woman having sex with a man, with, with a woman. With a man or or a, a prophet, he saw an angel. He will deliver uh, deliver a message coming from God. So for such a silly thing, you need four witnesses. But for a prophet, you don't have any. Correct. A man having sex with the women in order to prove it we have four witnesses we need to have four witnesses and not only that we have to see the private part of the man getting in and out execute my language this is what Muhammad said like the the the, the pen in the inkwell this is what he said so in order to prove adultery four witnesses and they have to see like a bing bong bing bong bing bong if they see the naked in the top of each other it's not it's, it's still there's no witnesses imagine <laughs> there's a hadith where a guy he says to the to the caliphate i saw him and i saw her legs around his neck like the ears of a donkey and he was like boom 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 you know the caliphate did not accept that <laughs> Because he did not see it getting in and out. <laughs> so if this is rejected, even though there is witnesses, because they could not see it in and out, you did not see the angel coming in. You did not see the angel coming out. You did not see anything about this angel. How you believe in this angel? How you believe in this religion? How? What is the proof? We have Muhammad Qasim there in the in the chat. I don't I don't know what he why I don't call. Where I can find Muslim can eat a human? Well, there is many in the history of Islam. They did eat a human. As an example, uh, uh, the cousin of Muhammad or from his family, his name is Khad bin Walid, one of the supposedly greatest name. He you know he killed the Muslim man and he cooked him, and he raped his wife. And the Muslims, they drank the blood of Muhammad and drank his pee and his piss, and, you know. 
actually there's a fatwa you can search for it in the in YouTube about you can eat somebody a Muslim he can eat a Muslim who is not praying but he have to eat his uh, his meat uh, raw zombie This is a fatwa made by Muslims, and this is what they used to teach. Actually, they are teaching right now in the Al Azhar University. It says you can eat a human who is not a believer or a Muslim who is apostate who stop praying. So, who is a Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Come on, Muslims, I don't have time. I have four wives waiting for me. We just have a contract today, and after we finish, I'm going to divorce them. Halal. Maybe many of you do not know that in Islam, there's no real marriage. You know, you can marry the women after 10 minutes, you divorce her by saying to her, talik, talik, which means divorce, divorce. <laughs> and then you can marry a new woman. There's no limited. You can marry four at the same time together. But there's no limit, which means in the same day, how many minutes? How many minutes a day? You can divorce and marry every thirty second, every ten second, women and marry new women, replace them. No limit. No, you don't have to say it three times. It's not true. That's not true. If you say it, divorce one time, it's it's done. That's it. Any Muslim? Do you see? Muslims, they believe in a guy. They have nothing. No, no proof of him. Nothing. <clears throat> there is no proof whatsoever about this guy. They call him prophet. Let me change the picture of this prophet. I will get you uh, this angel. I will get you a different angel, which is haram angel. You know, like, uh, uh, hold on. Oh, this is an angel. Muhammad, he saw that maybe. Oof. This angel is moving so fast. Oh, boy. Anyone? Very simple question and look at them. They have no idea and if you if you look I mean if you look at the dislike you right away You will notice we have Muslims There's Muslims with us Where are they? Yeah, I will change it so you guys you will not see a bad dream later I Can put my a picture of mine there, but I'm I'm, I'm afraid many ladies they might drop their babies you know, last time I did, the, uh, uh, you know, I used to sell my picture for $10 each for ladies who have a bad, bad children to teach them how to behave. Like each time he do something wrong, you show him my picture, he will behave for the rest of his life. But don't show it for long. Okay? It's very complicated. So what Muhammad he saw? Hmm? What Muhammad exactly he saw? Anyone? I'm just waiting for any Muslim to call me and to say, okay, I'm going to show you. There is nothing. According to Muslims, there is a guy, his name is, is Muhammad, was in the cave. When he is in the cave, suddenly a guy, he came to him, a guy, a man, a man, is not even an angel. He saw a man, and the man, he squeezed him. Hmm? And the angel, he, he did squeeze him three times. And nobody can explain to us why he squeezed him three times.
uh, I don't know if this is uh, Abbas or someone else there because we have somebody he take his name now in Islam you can divorce by saying you are divorced and if you are saying the Jews they do that you are copying the Jews thank you very much everything your prophet he have most of the things he have in his religion is taken from the Jews especially the stupid ones like from the Talmud like the stories of the flying carpet and the ant speaking all this garbage everything your prophet he have either from the Jews or from the Christian or from the Sabian or from the Persian or it's nothing from him now we can prove it like as an example when Muhammad once he was praying in a funeral uh, of a Muslim <clears throat> The guy, Muhammad, he was praying in the funeral of a man, dead man. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a Jew, he walked by, a rabbi actually, and he said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. The second, the guy, he said, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, sit down. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? <laughs> sit down, sit down. If you are a prophet of God and you are praying as Allah told you to pray, who cares if the guy, he said, this is how we do it or not? Muhammad, he changed the way to pray just because a Jew, he says, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. The prophet, he heard the guy saying, this is how we do it. He decided to change how he do it. From this is how we do it to let it change how we do it. I mean, isn't it obvious that this guy is a scam? <laughs> because if Allah, we do opposite to any religion. No, he, hold, hold, hold on. Guys, look what, look what Muhammad he said. He says we do the opposite to any other religion. Aren't you Muslims? You, you claim that you are coming from the same God. And if the Jews have the same teaching, so what the problem? But as you see, your prophet, he was not doing the opposite from the beginning. He was copying the Jews. And because he feel guilty, he said to himself, oh, oh, they got me busted. This is how we do it. So he says, change it. Let me ask you, Qasim. When you are a prophet, he did pray as he's praying. And the Jew, he says, this is how we do it. When he was praying at that moment, he was doing prayer, prayer according to Allah or to his own fantasy. I want an answer. Mm -hmm. He was praying as Allah told him to pray or it was his own prayer. He made it up. Because if this is Allah who told him to do it, then he should not change it unless Allah tell him, change it. It's just a guy walk by says this is this is how we do it it was a prayer it was a prayer this is what the muslim they do they stand up praying because in islam you do not you don't do uh, 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 like bow down when there's a funeral stop lying until now you do the same this is this is the tradition for the prayer it's a prayer for the funeral and let us say this is not the prayer according to you the jew this is this is how we do it why he changed it what what is the bad exactly what happened but when you are a thief you feel like okay i got busted he just told me this is how we do it and immediately he says sit down sit down act differently i mean how fast how fast Just because the Jew, he said to him, this is, this is how we do it. What if a Jew walked by and Muhammad was having <coughs> with his wife? And the Jew, he said to Muhammad, this is how we do it. What Muhammad will do? Huh? What if Muhammad was eating using his mouth? And the Jew walked by and he says, this is how we do it. What he will do? He will eat from his nose? When you say we do the opposite, what does that mean? 
I mean, this is how silly it is. We do the opposite. <laughs> no, you don't do the opposite. You start putting the hat of the Jews in your head. This is a Jewish hat. You wear the sheet around the Kaaba. This is a Hindu sheet. You shave your head. This is a Hindu shaving. You round around the Kaaba. This is the Hindu round. You kiss a black stone of a private part. This is a Hindu black stone. What do you mean you do the opposite? Where you do the opposite? If Muhammad was inspired by the angel to do that, then he should not do it unless the angel tell him. Yeah. Just the guy, he walked by, he says, this is all what he said, this is how we do it. He did not say this is wrong. He didn't say, etc. This is how we do it. Sit down, sit down, act differently. This is how we do it. La 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 la. This is how we do it. La la la. And who is going to call me? And he is a Muslim. Thank you, Abraham. How are you, my friend? Good to have you. Why I did not become a singer? Who told you I'm not? I sing, my friend. But because they contacted me last time, last time from the, the FBI, CIA, I mean, they told me, please don't do it again. They said there is like security issues. They said there's a lot of females they would do invasion to USA if I keep singing. So I said, okay, what I can do, I will stop. Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us? Stiffer that you can share. Okay, I don't know. Who is a Muslim would like to call us to tell us what, what's happening? Anyone? Yeah, a noon. My friend, it's not about I am like a nun or a, a, I'm not married. But the problem is, each time I ask a woman to marry me, she say like, what? There is no man left to marry you? Not like Muhammad, like good looking or Zach and I. Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Hello. Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Yeah, I'm all right. So in the Hadith, the hmm. the Prophet was, was a pray. It's not talking about prayer. It's talking about standing up for hmm. a funeral. So the, he did it hmm. differently because he wanted to, um, um, like he wanted to be different from them and not follow them in their Why ways. Or Why, like, okay, what, what the problem? Okay, hold on, hold on. So did, did, are you saying your Prophet, he noticed that he is doing wrong? So he decided just because he is doing the same as the Jews, that will make him bad? No, he, he took a strategy of uh, when he was doing that, when he was calling them to Islam, he took us first, he took the a strategy of uh, um, convincing them, saying that, look, we are from the same religion. But then once he realized they're not going to accept, then he took a different strategy and he, he decided to, um, you know, uh, make it clear to them that we're different from them. Okay, guys, everybody heard Mr. Muhammad saying. That Muhammad, he took a strategy. That's mean this is not the order of his God. Muhammad, he changed the way he do things as he wish. In the beginning, he was copying the Jews. That's what you said. Yeah. That's what you said. In the beginning, he was copying the Jews. And when he noticed that the Jews, they will not believe in him anyway, he took a strategy. I'm going to act differently. Right? Yeah, this is approved by Allah. So where, this is, where is approved, approved by, by Allah? Allah? Okay, show me. Where is approved by Allah? He's a prophet of Allah, that's why. No, no, where is the approval of Allah? You just said to me, he's the guy, he just walked by, says to him, this is how we do it, and he changed it. Did he wait like a day or two until Allah, he sent him a message? No, the guy was walking by, he did not even leave. He said, sit down, sit down, act differently in the moment. 
you see with the prophet allah allah is with the prophet so he allah is with him at every moment of time so allah is with the prophet this is very dangerous my friend i heard i thought that muhammad he never saw uh, his as god he never heard his god i thought it's jibreel who delivered the message to him allah um the prophet went to the heaven and he he seen allah he's seen Apparently. allah okay you know what i want to shave my 20 foot beard if you can show me a reference in the Quran, hmm. it says, uh, um, let me find the reference. I know, Fatadalla. Hmm. You do not need to find it. I will wait for you in the screen. So, are you sure that this verse saying that he saw Allah? Yeah, so it says, uh, Okay. So this is Allah. So he says the heart did not lie. What he, this what is he not saw. the question. This is Allah. You said he saw him. He saw Allah. You are saying chapter 53, starting from verse number 6 and 7 and 8 and 9, that Allah, he came down like a monkey in a robe. No, and, no, no, and Muhammad, he the, saw him. The prophet went to heaven, prophet went to heaven, and he says, No, it doesn't verse, say this uh, is not, this is not, this is not about Muhammad going to heaven. He saw him coming down, not going up. What are you talking about? Okay, it says here, He saw him in the upmost horizon, so the horizon is in the earth. So he saw him in the horizon, and then he came down. So it's not Muhammad coming down, it's you said to me, This is Allah. Um, let me see. See, I advise you to act differently. Don't see, look, because we see. Muslim should not see, should look. Because if we see, you should look. If we look, you should see. <laughs> hmm. Are you searching Prophet Google? I'm checking the reference. What reference? We should not look at reference. Christian, look at reference. You should act differently. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah. Well, nah. This is nah. I mean, the guy, he, sta he was standing. So how he act differently? He said, sit down, sit down. So what? You Muslim should not stand up? Because you act differently. Yeah, this is uh yeah, I think this looks like it's about the angel. Oh, it looked like it's about the angel. Aha. <laughs> okay, here we have a problem. As long as you say this is about the angel, so how and you are the one who mentioned this verse, this chapter. How in verse yeah. number 10 it says ila abdihi ma awha. So he inspired his slave. Is Muhammad the slave of the angel or the slave of Allah? So he's a slave of Allah. Okay, but here it says that the one he's speaking is Allah. No, Allah goes back, to, he refers back to himself. So he says, so My friend, he the is the one who drew, he is the one who came down, he is the one who arrived, and he now saying, and he, he revealed to his slave. So how that can be now? You see, you remember, you are the one who said to me, this is Allah. Yeah, there's no issue. Yeah, no, what I'm saying, there's no issue if uh, Allah changes... Uh, the sentence to talk about himself at any point. No, no, it cannot be because okay. So what happened? What happened? There is somebody he saw in the horizon, right? Okay. Yeah. So he says. And then uh, and this one who was in the horizon, he point. went down, correct? Yeah. And then he became a distance of two bows or nearer, correct? Yeah. And he revealed. All of it is about he. Till he. Till he. Then he. All of them they are he and then he revealed into his slave he who so that's what I'm saying it's referring to Allah now okay and the, the one who is coming down he the one that's coming down was the angel <laughs> if the one is coming down is the angel but the the, the verse is saying he came down he was in the horizon. He came down. He became so close and he revealed. How that go back 
to 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 Allah here, but the the all the He is for the angel. Yeah, Allah does this many times in the Quran. Allah does no, no, this. No, 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 no. This is just, just listen. Don't don't say that. Look, it says when he he saw him in the horizon, the first he goes to who? The the angel. How you know? Uh, because the angel obviously came down. What? What? And, uh, A second ago, you are the one who told me this is Allah. When I said this, you are the one who called me to say to me he saw Allah. You forgot just two, two minutes ago. People really listen, uh, guys. There isn't yeah, him I who said to me. I said, okay, where? I said to you, I will shave my twenty foot beard, which is not twenty one, actually twenty one. If you can show me where Allah he saw Muhammad, you said to me, go to this chapter. You forgot. Yeah, I was talking about the verse eleven that um, he saw Allah, but then it looks like he's talking about the angel. Ah, the so did he say Allah or not? Uh, uh, yeah, for verse 11, yeah, I said it was Allah. But did he see Allah or not? Yeah, he's seen Allah, but uh, let me have to find the reference for that. <laughs> okay, guys, he's seen Allah. Should I give you like a year or two to find the reference? <laughs> Just give me two minutes. Yeah, because you cannot find such a thing. Uh, give me a second. I have a. You you look for the reference. I have a delivery. Uh, the Jibril he get me Quran. You know, but uh, it's really messed up. Like the name of the book it's called Act Differently. Hold on. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right. Are yeah, what the reference? Okay, what are the reference? Read for me. Uh, Sayyidina uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas who says uh, uh, the Prophet of Allah saw Allah on the night of Mi'raj. This is Sunan Tirmidhi, page 163, uh, verse 2. Hmm. Who said that? Uh, Abdullah ibn Abbas, he was a companion of the Prophet. Okay. He say he saw his, his, his Lord, right? Yeah, he's seen Allah on the night of Mi'raj. Okay. Read for me what you see in the screen. For me what you see in the screen. Mute you too, please. Act act differently. Ibn Abbas was quoting that verse, my friend. He didn't say he saw Allah. Read it, read it. Yeah, yeah. So Aisha on her, she's saying that he didn't see. So this so how about the different upon no, no, this? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. She did not say he did not see. He says whoever says that he is a liar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She differs so upon you this. You are so a liar then. When we go, yeah, when we go no, to uh, Ibn Hajar, yeah, when we go to Ibn according, Hajar, to, according to Aisha, you are a liar. No, let me explain, let me explain. So no, when no, we don't, explain, Hajar, don't explain. I want you to say to me, either you or Ibn Abbas or Aisha is lying. Which one? Because Aisha is confirming the one who say that he is a liar. Yeah, she was talking about certain perspective. So let me explain. What perspective? What she was My friend, she said, yeah, she said, and this is after Muhammad's death, which means there's no way he saw him again. So Aisha speaking now, and she is a mature adult, that the Prophet never saw Allah, and whoever says that, he is a liar. Yeah, can I respond at least? Uh, okay. So let me explain it. Right. So Ibn Hajjah says, uh, the way we reconcile these two narrations, hmm. he said the vision stated in Hadith is vision with the eyes of the heart and not with the eyes of the head. This is established by... Eyes Sayyidina of the heart? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ibn Abbas who said the same. Okay, same. How, how so, you, I, so he saw Allah by the eyes of the heart. Guys, did you hear that? Yeah. Okay, what is the eyes of the heart, Your Majesty? He, he felt the presence of Allah. But you said to me, he saw him. There's a huge difference between I felt the presence of Allah. <laughs> yeah, it's just a different type so, of scene. No, it's you see, this is, this is fabrication now. The eyes of the heart? 
So did, did they, they see him or not? Did they see him? We know what we, we when we say we see him, we are talking about our eyes. So you, you now you switch it, you make it. He saw him by the eyes of the heart. Uh, let me tell you, I have eyes on my shoulders. I don't know if you notice them, but because we act differently, so you fabricate things just to get an answer which is not there. Muhammad That's never saw, you and you know what? what? Even the Quran says, my friend. Okay. Even the Quran says, and Aisha, she is quoting for you that no vision can grasp him. So if the Quran says nobody, nobody, no vision, no eyes can see him, and then you say to me that Muhammad he saw Allah, you are accusing the Quran, accusing Allah to be a liar. No, firstly, it's in the hadith, so that's why I'm saying it. it's in the. My in the friend, hadith. you are the one who said to me, confirming something. You said he saw him. Did you say to me he saw him? Yes or no? Yeah, he saw him. Okay, with his heart. but the Quran says nobody can see him. Yeah, with the physical eyes, we cannot see him. Okay, so how Muhammad he saw him, guys? But by the physical eyes, you cannot see him. Yeah. So, so we, see, we, cannot, we see he Muslim says he saw him with his heart. If we, we cannot he see him with the physical eyes, so Muhammad did not be by the heart. It's Muhammad did not see him then, correct? He did see him, but it's a different type of vision. What type of vision? He did not see him by the heart. What the heart? Heart have eyes? It's not worldly, it's, it's not worldly vision. So, listen, listen, listen. Listen, I want to go, I want to go, and I want you to answer me about how, what is the proof that Muhammad he saw an angel? As, as long as we prove that Muhammad he never saw Allah. So, how Muhammad, what is the proof that he saw an angel? So this is from the Ghaib, the unseen. So uh, we, accept the, 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 the unseen. we accept the revelation. Okay, hold on, the, guys. The that's unseen is it seen or unseen? Did Muhammad see an angel? Yes or no? Yeah, yeah, he's seen. Okay. He How? What is the proof that he saw an angel? He's a trustworthy person. To um, that's why we accept it. So you, uh, you, he have no witnesses whatsoever that he saw an angel. Um. I mean, the angel did come in a form, a uh, man of human form, and he presented himself. Okay. And he what is witness. the what is the real form of the angel? The real form. Mm. Uh, he has he's like he's from east to the west. <laughs> he's so big. Okay. So and uh, describe him for me. Uh, he's got wings and what not. But how many wings? How many wings? Um, I, think hundred, I don't know, hundreds or something, I can't remember. Uh, 600, correct? Yeah, something like that. Okay, Muhammad, he saw an angel with 600. Do you agree with Muhammad or his lying? Of course, I agree. But the Quran says that Allah created angels with two, uh, two wings and four wings and three wings. How Muhammad, he saw angels with 600 wings. So it might be two, three wings, and within them wings, it might be. What, do, uh, what, uh, what would they within then? If Allah He says I created the angels either with two, or three, or four wings, how Muhammad He saw an angel with six hundred wings? Uh, what verse is this? I'll just check you. Chapter thirty-five, verse number one. Your mic is uh, bad, my friend. You need to change it. Don't move it, please. So he says, uh, uh, you know, he made uh, angels, messengers having wings, two or three or four. He increases in creation what he wills. Hmm. So, so he says he increases in creation. Yeah, but this is about he create more, not about the wings. And the moment he delivered this message, who is the one who delivered it? An angel, right? So at this moment, the numbers are at least is two and three and four. So if the angel Jibreel, he appeared to him with wings, he should be either two or three or four. By the way, how you can have a three in your wings? That would be funny. Where is the third wing will be, you think? In his nose? Uh, on maybe, side or maybe have a tail maybe but Muhammad he saw an angel with 600 wings and the Quran says either they are two or three or four and this is in the moment when the angel in Jibreel himself delivered the message so at this moment Jibreel himself should have two or three or four 
how Muhammad he saw six hundred wings. Do you think this is a UFO? Um, don't know. Don't know. Um, I have to check this. What to check? It's in the front of you. It's easy. You need to check this. Yeah, yeah I didn't see what the scholars say about this. What the scholars? Uh, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's very clear. I mean, it's uh, it's obvious, my friend. Muhammad, he saw uh, an angel. Does this angel have a head? Do he have a head, or just wearing like a dress? And there is six hundred wings. He says here um, the explanation. He says here these were sure that the number of wings of the angel is restricted to four, but Allah has provided some angels with more wings than four. According My to friend, the Hadith. Quran says it clearly: two or three or four. Don't tell me about Allah. What about Allah? Show me where Allah He says I'm going to make angel with six hundred wings. And the creation of more. This is not about increasing of the size of the number of the wings. It's about He create more. There is more creation you do not know about, but he is telling us about his angels. This is the verse speaking exactly. He, he did not mention the number of the wings for nothing. He describing to us what is the numbers of the wings. He's not describing to us only that he have angels. He described the wings, and there is a reason for that to tell us. Okay, this is the angel. My angels. They look like this. They have either two or three or four. So how Muhammad yeah. he saw an angel with six hundred wings. Yeah, this would be like Allah can also create uh, angels with uh, more wings. So it doesn't say only two. No, three or four no, wings. my friend, don't 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 fabricate things. It doesn't say with more wings. It says that Allah He create more. You can read the interpretation. Allah He create more, the same as He say muasirun, which mean we can create more. Allah He build and He can build more. Allah He create and He create more. He have a lot of creation, but those are the angels with two and the three. Wings I'm, and four I'm wings. saying, mm. I'm saying in, in the verse, it doesn't say only to uh, the angels. No, it have says that. It says that. Four. It says only. No, it, it says. The, the one, no, it says only. Saying, no, no, it says. Saying, uh, 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 no, it says only, my friend. It says only. Where, right, right. where do you get the conclusion? It doesn't say only. It says the, the creator the of the. Okay, hold on. It. Okay, he, the creator of the heaven and the earth, who appoints the angels, messengers, having, he is confirming having. Wings of two and a three and four. That's it. It doesn't say that. The hadith tells us there's actually okay, an okay. angel that has no, birth. no, no. It doesn't say what other that says. It says it clearly two and a three and four. Did he say a thousands? So they are not known. Did he say hundreds? So we can say okay, six hundred. No, he said two and a three and four. That's it. And then there's a dot after that and a stop. And then he multiply as he wish. Of his creation, not about the, the 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 angels. So the number is clear. The wings number exactly is clear. The number of the angels we do not know. It does not mention how many. But the angels either they are with two wings or three wings or four wings. I've already said it doesn't say only. If you said only, then you had a point. But Hold it on. doesn't say. We have a smart Muslim. He said, uh, "This is Abbas." He said he is talking about the angel that is not including the Holy Spirit, Jibreel. <laughs> this is Abbas. <laughs> what do you think about what Abbas said? Abbas saying that the, the, Allah here talking about the angels, but he 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 he's not including Jibreel. <laughs> Yeah, he making sense. Yeah, what what right. making sense? He said, "My angel, I appointed angels to messengers. So if Jibril is not one of them, that means he is not of those who appointed to messengers. I mean, you Muslims, how you think? Does it say there that he appoint angels to messengers? So those are the one who communicate with messengers. Who is the one who communicate with your prophet? The angels, but what I'm saying is, uh, Allah didn't give you the whole details. No, no, he gave. No, no, no. You see, you see, this guy there. You agree with him? He's a silly. He's a stupid. This guy is an. Uh, he's a certified stupid. You should. You should be smarter. When when he, no. when you agree with him, you just agree that your God Allah is an idiot because he is saying he appoints the angels to messengers. Okay, and they are the messengers. He sent them to who? To his people, to the prophets. So you're a prophet. He have a, a messenger appointed to him. He is an angel, and that messenger have to have two wings, three wings, four wings. But that guy, he said, this is not include the Holy Spirit. But that's mean Holy Spirit cannot be that messenger. 
because the only messengers he is he here he's speaking only about angels who they are messengers because there's angels they are not messengers not all not all angels are messengers correct not all angels are messengers yes yeah okay so here he's speaking only about those who he appoint them as messengers is Jibreel one of the messengers of Allah yep okay so how we agree with that idiot when he says this is not include the Holy Spirit yeah what I'm saying is uh, the angel obviously um, it, does, it doesn't restrict it that's what I'm trying to say it is restricted, it's restricted. no it's restricted it's for those who they are messengers it's so clear they it, have it, to be no. They it are angels. If they said only, if it, if it had the, the word only, then, then only it yes, it is says only. It says only because he said yeah. two and yeah. three and four, and he stopped. Did he continue? That's at, not only. Okay, no, no, that, that's okay. Not did only. he stop with four? He stopped. Yeah, he stopped. Why with he four, stopped with four? Why he stopped with four? Why? Okay, and why he mentioned even the number of the angels? Not if this is not uh, not the case. There's there's somebody have six hundred wings. Why he said two and three and four? And this is in the time of Muhammad because this message delivered to Muhammad in the time of Muhammad Allah saying I have angels appointed to messenger as messengers and they have two and three and four in the time of Muhammad this is not like 2,000 years after why he did not say okay and 600 so that's a lot choice in a way you want to know okay, okay that's thank you that's a lot choice a lot choice is that he have angels of two wings the three wings four wings yeah, he's telling us, and then the prophet told us. Okay, so an what the prophet saw is not true. The prophet he did not see an angel; he saw something else. Let me ask you: Is it true that your prophet he imagined things is not true? He, uh, what do you mean when he was um, when um, someone tried to do some magic on? What do you mean? Some trying to do some magic? I, either you say yes or no. Did your prophet he use to have an illusion, delusion problem? Yeah, it's like an illness. Look, okay, it's in the yeah, did, did, did you hear Mr. Muhammad said that his prophet is suffering from illness. What kind of illness is that? Is that mental illness? Yeah, just like some people have illness and they forget and Thank uh, you. whatnot. So, guys, so the he, prophet of yeah, Allah, according to Muslims, have mental illness and he imagined things is not true. So, how you guarantee? No, it's, no, no, it's not okay. a mental illness. No, you are the one who said to me, okay, a, a, a false imagination. Somebody he believed he saw something, it's not there. That is mental illness. You can ask any doctor. They, they don't yeah, call it magic. He, the Muslims, they no, call it magic. Yeah, in the time magic. of the Arab, no, in the time of the Arab, anything they cannot understand, they call it magic, 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 because this guy is going crazy. He looks fine as a buddy. He looks fine. It's magic today as well. Like you okay. see, it's magic today. My friend, what magic? You're a prophet. What kind of magic? You, you, you know, he can control a man. He's a prophet of God, protected by God, and that magic will make him see his wife without panty, but the wife were in panty. He will make him see the pillow as a woman, but the women, the pillow is a pillow. What kind of a prophet and how, how you can make someone see that? This is false. This is just an illusion in your brain. He have a chemical balance in his head. He is mentally Allah ill. This, yeah, Allah made this as a suburb, as a, as a means of, uh, you know, uh, see this situation as a means of revealing two surahs that will protect us. So he protected him. Okay, uh, Allah guys, the, Allah, he protected him. This is not true because the, the verses of uh, about magic, Muhammad, he have them already and he did not protect it. You're a prophet, he said, if you eat seven ajwa and if you read those, no, uh, like, uh, no, uh, uh, no magic and no uh, poison can kill you, correct? Yeah. Okay, but Muhammad, he was eating seven ajwa, and he he died by poison, and he was affected by magic. So his medicine was false, his God did not protect him, and this is all is a fiction. No, so the ajwa is regarding a specific type of poison and specific type of magic. Ah, not a specific time, a specific time. What it says, specific time. It says, he who eats, uh, type, listen, type, listen, it says, type. he who ate seven ajwa dates every morning will not be affected by poison. Does it say specific? Th did he name the poison? Yeah, he didn't name it, so we don't. So it's a poison. Uh, it doesn't matter what the poison. Okay. Or magic. I want you to explain to me how ajwa can stop the magic. 
the Ajwa is uh, it's a special. The Prophet was the one who planted it, and uh, he's uh, that's why it's, it's yes, a miracle. You hear this? So the, the, the Ajwa he planted it. What do you mean? Is it, is, is is Muhammad who created the Ajwa? Ajwa is exist for for a long time. What did Muhammad have to do with this? He says, if you anyone anyone eat Ajwa, that will stop magic. How Ajwa will stop magic? What is the power of the Ajwa? Yeah, the power is that it's a miracle. Like the Prophet, um, he, he was involved in doing this. Mm. And whatever the but prophet your Prophet all his life is eating Ajwa. How come the Ajwa did not stop the, the magic? Because death was going to come up upon him anyway. Okay, let me ask you. Somebody put for him a magic and somebody put for him a poison. Why Muhammad did not eat Ajwa? And he will recover. He, he he was uh, like the magic the poison didn't have any f effect on him for for uh, three years what do you mean for three years for four years he was dying my friend the hadith says that the prophet said that he he, he is dying because of it what do you mean don't affect have effect on him no near, near the end of his life that's where the poison started coming to affect ah him. so i eat poison four years ago and the poison now start working. Have you ever heard of a joke like this before? My friend, poison take effect in a second. Right away, you start hurting you, destroying your organs. So Muhammad obviously is suffering for so four years. Hmm? Are you going against history? In history, we know that. Where does this guy go? What history? In history. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah hello yeah you said in, in history what in history yeah i'm saying in the in the hadith we know that he lived on afterwards and he lived for three years we know all right no problem so doesn't miracle. matter your prophet my friend my friend your prophet miracle. saying your prophet saying i i am dying because of the poison i ate at khaybar correct did he say that Uh, he, he said he could feel the pain. Okay, which doing what? Uh, say that again, sorry. What? Okay, the, what is the pain doing? Uh, it's causing him uh, pain. Where? Um, so he he used the uh, he used like a metaphor like iota. No, no. Why, what metaphor? He says he says. I feel as if my orta, which means his orta, is it, because it's not cut off already. Otherwise, he will be dead, right? But he is saying, in the moment now, I'm talking. I feel this in my orta. I have a lot of pain. So this is where he feel pain. But Muhammad is speaking at that moment. But he used to say, read carefully. It says, the prophet on his element of in which he died used to say that's mean he did not say it once twice he always keeps saying my orta my orta is cutting off the poison i ate in khaybar cutting it off so muhammad he died by poison and you say to me that allah protect muhammad and you muhammad he says if you eat seven ajwa no poison can affect you and no magic and the funny muhammad he died by poison and he was affected heavily by what muslim they call it magic that's mean muhammad is a liar no, 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 because the prophet already told us that uh, mort will not, uh, will, like a poison cannot, uh, I mean, the ajwa and all this will not, uh, or black seed will not stop al mort. Uh, so it this is not, not about stop. Stop, uh, stopping death. No, this is, not a, this is not a normal death. This is a stopping poison. He did not die normally. He died by poison and the hadith in front of you. Yeah, Allah made this as means as his, as his uh, death because he'll die as a martyr in this way. Okay, uh, guys, he died as a murder. That's not the question. He dies as a murder. <laughs> yeah, in Islam, uh, if you if person uh, no problem, dies, no. uh, listen, 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 dies. listen. Okay, listen, listen. It doesn't matter how you know murder or not for you. This is your statement, but it make me fun. I, I laugh because at the end of the day, you're a prophet to prove to us himself again that he is a liar. Because you said to me just a few minutes ago that Allah he protected Muhammad. Yeah, he protected him uh, at that moment of time, and then he made the effects of it okay. come appear. Allah, he yeah, protected it. him at the moment at the time. How he protected him at the moment? Did he protect him as a prophet or he did not? He did for three years that it didn't come to effect. That's a miracle. It's a miracle. 
three years he is dying slowly with a lot of pain no he's not well, prove that to me prove to me three years he was suffering okay Th does he say that the poison i ate at khaybar and you said to me this is three years after yeah this is two years after okay three years after muhammad saying the poison i ate at khaybar what does that mean why he connect this to khaybar because he never stopped since then otherwise poison is gone there's no poison in his body no more what happened now no, that muhammad listen the poison what the poison did the poison did the effect immediately but this effect destroy his organ and his organ is going badly more and more and more so the damage happening and now he is dying slowly it's a very painful then and he is suffering screaming from the pain and he is saying <laughs> clearly <laughs> that this has happened is this has happened to me because of the poison i ate at khaybar yeah, yeah. So he say he's he's telling his wife, I had food, and that um, I, I, you know, I can still feel the pain caused by it. I so still like, feel the know. pain. Thank you. I still feel the pain. I still feel the pain. I still. Did you say it? I still. What does that mean? I still. Um. Like he felt the pain at that moment, maybe or something. No, it says I still. You are the one who said that. You see, I'm not smart like you. You are a genius. You said I still. Yeah, he felt it. Okay. No, he said I. St <laughs> he hang up. <laughs> Guys, I mean, <laughs> what a comedy. <laughs> It's in the front of him. He keep repeating it. He don't notice. I still feel the pain. <laughs> that caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. I still. <laughs> what a comedy. So look at this, uh, you know, the one they call him a prophet. Uh They call him a prophet, and yet there's no witnesses whatsoever for anything. And everything he says contradicts what he said himself. He said that angels have two and three wings, and then he claimed that he saw Jibreel with 600 wings. Actually, the Quran says, if, uh, because some they are asking, okay, why Allah sending angels? which we cannot see you know like like men you know so what allah says to them well if those who live in earth we will send you men like you <laughs> but but the, hold on if allah only he will send angels if they uh, they look like men only if he is sending them to to uh, to uh, if like uh, from their kind you know like i will send you angels who look like men if the one who live in the ground are men but the one who live in the ground are men and muhammad he claimed that allah he sent him jibreel in the image of a man Do you see the contradiction in this guy? He cannot be a prophet. This guy is a scam. Let us uh, <clears throat> let us show the verse so people they can laugh with us. Show you how the scam work. See if there were in the earth angel walking secure. We had sent down for them from heaven an angel as messenger. This is what? To explain why he is not sending an angel in the appearance of an angel. You see it? 
So Allah, he will send an angel in the image of an angel. If the one who is walking in the ground, he will send them to them or angels like them. So how Muhammad, he saw an angel with 600 wings. <laughs> I don't know. Do you understand me, guys? Who don't understand what I'm saying? Who do not understand this verse? If, say, if they were, because they were asking him, where is the angels? Where is your angels? Huh? Muhammad, where is your angel? Or bring Allah and the angels, they are saying that to him. Verse number 92. If you are a prophet, okay, here we go. Uh, make miracles. Huh? Or, or, cause the heaven to fall upon us. Or, let Allah come to us. Or, let angels come to us. None of them happen. And here Muhammad, he is going to ex give an excuse. Why Allah will not send angels? Look at this. Say if they were in earth angels walking secure, which means if the if, uh, if the one I will send my messengers to, they are angels walking in the ground, then I will send them angels like them. So I send men as me, like men as a messenger to men. I don't send angels to men. This is the point. So how Allah He sends Jibreel. There's a person in the Christian prince, and this guy he always attacked the prophet, and he's lying. And I'm going to prove it to you. He says that in chapter 17, verse number 95, Allah says, If Allah he said nothing, that they are going to be human like us. So he's out. How is saying that the is coming to the prophet? First of all, the he did not come as a messenger. First of all, he came as a delivery from Amazon Prime. And he delivered for him right a second ago, and we heard him opening the door that he received delivery. And the delivery is recorded. This is how we do it. <laughs> what is this? Look at the excuse. They are saying, okay, why you have no angels come to us? He says, okay, well, okay, Allah told me, uh, Allah will send you angels if you are angels too. Ah, that makes sense. But Muhammad, he himself, he saw an angel. If you, if, if, if the one who living in earth, they are angels walking, walk, not flying, walking. Then we will send them for sure angels. But as long as they are not angels, the one who live in earth, we will not send them angels. So how Allah, he sent an angel in the other verse. In the other verse, he said, we appointed messengers. They are angels with two and three and four wings. Those only exist as long as you don't challenge Muhammad to show him the angel. The second you say to him, show me the angel, he, okay, he give you this verse. You see, you see the the stupidity. <clears throat> this is a prophet, and this is religion. It cannot handle. I mean, two two minute examination. No, and it's not confusing passages. The passage is so clear. The passage is so clear. Maybe the translation is not so good. He, you know, they ask him. Why you don't have uh, bring us a miracle? He, this guy, he, this this prophet, he have no miracle. He claimed to be a prophet, but all other prophets they have miracles, except him. Okay, well, if you are a prophet, do something. Okay, make a garden here, huh? Let your God make a garden full of a grape. Oh, let a let a let a river come, huh? Uh, or cause the heaven to fall upon us, uh, or you know what? Uh, bring Allah. Let Allah come to us, or let the angels come. None of this happened. He said to them, I will read Quran for you. <laughs> and he said to them, Allah said, if he made the house for you in heaven, still you will not believe. Like, make it first. House in heaven. So he's given excuses why he will not and he do not have miracles. And then about the angels, they cannot come. He says, well, <laughs> uh, tell them, 
if uh, the one who used to live in earth are angels then they will send angels so why the Quran says that Allah he sent an angel to Mary was Mary a, a human or she's an angel in earth huh isn't it Allah he sent to Mary an angel who appear as a perfect man is it Allah who sent Jibreel who appear as a perfect man in the look of the boyfriend of the hill the hill Do you see easy, how easy, my friend, to do, to destroy Islam? Islam is a very silly cult. Very silly cult. Just open your eyes, read carefully, and you'll see. This is the most stupid religion ever. All this, just to say, I'm not going to do any miracle for you. And then the Muslim, they say to us, uh, Muhammad, he split the moon. They wanted an angel as messenger living among them. That's not what they wanted. Stop lying. Read carefully. It says, or cause the heaven to fall upon us, uh, or or bring Allah or the angels as a warrant. Stop lying. They don't want them to live between us. Liar. Bring them as a one who warn us. Here we go. We are watching. And then Muhammad he says to them that Allah told me it doesn't matter what he would do to you, you will not believe, so I will not do anything. Do you see it? And not only that. When Muhammad died by the poison, as we discussed with Mr. Muhammad, we discovered that Muhammad, he predicted his death as a liar. Why? Because Muhammad in the Quran, he said, that Allah said, if Muhammad fabricating word, claiming it is from God, Allah will cut his artery. Do you see it? It's a revelation from the Lord of the world, the Lord of the ring. And if he had invented false saying concerning us, if he who, Muhammad, we assuredly had taken him by his right hand and we then se uh, severed his life, severed his life artery. And this is exactly what Muhammad said in the hadith, that he is dying by the poison which is cutting his artery. Do you see it? So Muhammad now this is the only time Muhammad really he predicted how he would die he was a prophet at this, this moment which means he was a false prophet who his death proven to us that he is a false prophet and I believe strongly the reason that he died in a, that way our Lord he wanted to prove to us not the Lord of Muhammad that Muhammad is a false prophet because if I say to you if I am lying May God, I, my God told me he will he will kill me in certain way, and that that death exactly what happened. What does that mean? You know what I mean? Muhammad saying that Allah told him that if Muhammad is inventing Quran, fabricating words, it's not from God. This God, whoever he is, he is doing. He was going to punish him like this. And nobody can hold us from punishing him. And that will be something to remember for anyone who do evil. Muhammad, he said that he never thought he will die in such a death. When he made and fabricated those verses, he never thought he will die in such a death. Isn't it obvious? Anyone?
this cult, obviously. Is easy to expose. Stupid, dumb. What we can say. Isn't it obvious? And what when we say to them that the prophet he was uh, uh, imagine himself that he is doing things and he don't know it's not real. You know this guy is obviously an illusion. Uh, the uh, Qasim he agreed that he's a prophet. He is suffering from illness. <laughs> we are following. We have one billion human being. Following somebody, he imagined he saw things, but in fact, he did not. Even his sex was not real. Read it carefully. Imagine he saw things. But mute you too, please. Hello? Yes, mute you too. Uh, yes, uh, okay, so I have, uh, so I, um, so you were talking about the angels, right? Mm. Angel, Angel Gabriel, he has 600 beings according to narrations, mm. right? I'm listening, Mr. Muhammad, go okay, ahead. Yeah, yeah, okay, and then I think on the other one you said, because I, uh, in the ayat uh, 35 one, mm. uh, so God, uh, so God said he, uh, he created uh, three, four, two, Twos and uh, twos and threes and fours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I okay. So so I just want to just give me one second. Let me just pull those out. Okay. So you so your point was that oh like a lot uh, that a lot only created twos, threes, and fours. So how there is like six? So how Prophet Muhammad saw six hundred, right? Correct. Right. Correct. Go ahead. Right. Okay. So so first of all. Because uh, so according to to the verse is thirty five one, mm. which says, um, "Let me just pull pull up uh, thirty five. So the Father, yeah. So so Creator of heavens and the earth, who made the angels messengers have wings, right? So Allah Taala created angels, and then they have wings, and after that Allah says two or three <laughs> or four, right? Hmm. Yeah. So, so in, uh, so first of all, in here because I think I saw your conversation before. I think it was a brother. You had a conversation before, right? Okay. Yeah. So because like uh, so in here, Allah Taala said Allah Taala created angels. There are different species of angels. There are some species, of species. What do you mean species? Species mean there are not only one one kind of angels, you know that, right? There are different kind of angels. No, I there do not know that. I thought angels, other than they are the saints. Okay, no, no problem. You're uh, so yeah. So, uh, so I'm just telling you right now. No, so no, no I need to tell me from where you get this. There's different uh, kind of species. Okay. You are the one who used the word species. Because there's not there's not only one kind of angel. Where there is, is okay? Different. Where you get this from? Allah, Allah, me, my friend, give me a reference. I want to learn. Listen, 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 listen. Allah Taala created. There are angels of mountain. There are angel of seas. There are different my friend, angels. Give me. Doesn't matter. This is jobs they do. But you are saying different species. What is that? These different species, like I mean, I'm trying to say that that they are different. They are different. Like uh, that, Allah Taala made them for different purposes. They are different. They are not some. Some have different jobs, and according to them, they have different figures. They are not only. We, you, we, we this is not what I'm saying. I'm saying to you. Yes. You say uh -huh. the species. Where you get this from? Can you have me give me a reference? Okay, so first of all, you need to understand. My friends, okay, so I do not need to understand. Species first, I, I will not understand unless brother, you give me reference because you are species. making things up. You are making things up. I, you need to I, prove I, me I, wrong. I, okay. 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 So tell me how. Uh, so how I'm making things do, uh, means because wrong. Because you need to tell me where you get this from. That there's in Islam, there's angels with uh, different species. 
That's what I'm asking you for. That's all. So there are, I, I, I explained to you, there are angels. Don't explain to me, my friend. I said, okay, I got it. I got it. There are two different species. But where do you get this from? You see, you are making things up. Otherwise, you have to show me the reference. I'm making things up. There okay, are then show me the reference. Show me the reference. According to Quran, according to Quran there are. Show there me are, the reference. Uh, don't tell me according to Quran. No, no, listen. Listen, listen when you say according to Quran, where in the Quran it says that? What? Where in the Quran it says Allah, there are different Allah, species? <laughs> Allah, look, Allah, Allah say he made angels. For, there are angels for mountain. There are angels. My friend, for, don't, don't stop, stop being, a, stop being a, like a, a, act like a man. What do you say to me? There's different species. I want you to give me the reference. Bro, there is not a specific word for species. But okay, so what is that mean, species? Do you know what is that mean, right? No, what does that mean? Explain to us. Go ahead. Are you serious, Anna? Species are different. It's, it's, it's meaning when you say species, they are not from the same kind. That's what species mean. Yeah, so they are. Yeah, okay. so, so you are so saying to me the are angels, they are, they, they are not saying no. The Quran says, and you are an ignorant person, you have to admit the Quran says that we created angels from Noor, correct? Yes, from okay. Noor, yes. So all of them they have the same common, the same, the same common uh, uh, creation. All of them they are created from light, so all of them they have the same nature, correct? That's the thing, they all okay. I guess how they can have all, all same natures. Look, I'm asking you, are they all have the same nature? Yes or no? No, no, they don't. But the Quran say so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah what does it say? Yeah. Allah created the angels so from light. Have a same nature, Allah created they? angels from noor, from light. Yes or no? Yes, they are. Yeah. Allah okay. okay. So, so all, all of them, they are yes, the, from the same kind. All of them. That the genie, all of them from the same kind, correct? What is it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Is the angels from the same kind, the same as the genie, all of them from the same kind? The same as the human, all of them from the same kind? I'm sorry, man, I didn't hear you. I, I think I'm just saying. No, you hear me very well. You are just trying to avoid the answer. This I, Allah not, created the man so from one kind. The man, the man is one kind. The genie is one kind. The angels are one kind. So there are okay. Let me tell you, there are animals, right? They have a different species, right? So do they call animals, right? We don't call that. Oh, this is this. This is this. This is there is a one. So there are different kind of. Okay, right? let me get you busted. Allah, Allah he said. Allah he said that my my angels all their to, kind okay let, let me get you okay hold on hold on hold on listen did allah say that my You're angels my that. angels who they are messengers they yes. are having two or three or four wings yes, yes he say that right yes okay uh -huh. that's, that's that's it so this is the kind allah is speaking about angels they, he called them angels and all of them either have two or three or four. It doesn't look. I I told you that a lot. Uh, look, there are different kind of angel, and Allah Allah says doesn't matter. Are, doesn't matter. Listen, those are messengers. Listen, He's speaking about listen, messengers. Listen, listen. listen. He listen, said listen. that those angels are messengers. All the messengers who they are messengers, they have either two or three or four wings. Correct. Brother, look, listen, you have to listen to us. There are some angels who have two. There are some of them. There are three. It doesn't or say you are, you, are, you are lying. You are look, lying. It cannot, doesn't say. Cannot, look, I it, am doesn't, not lying. it doesn't I'm say. Just, it doesn't say some. Where you are in the word some? Where you word some? Did you see the word some? Bro, they, okay. So, okay. So, is that mean specific? It doesn't say specific though. So, we, uh, my friend, okay. my friend, it says wait, specific. Yes, it says specific. It says, it says, yes, it says specific because Allah is saying, here, Those here, are my here. angels, you they have to, two. You have to show, look, if you're trying to say the sum, you have to show the word specific that there are only, there are two, there are just only, there are just, word, there are only two. If Allah he described for you saying, This is my angels, you that's it. Did Allah he count more angels or he said, Those are my angels who they are messengers? Yes or no? He said, he, he said Allah Ta'ala made angels, they have heavy wings, and this, and then they have heavy wings, they are two or. Or which means like they are not only special, they are two. First of they all, first of all, no, 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 he did not say or. It didn't say, it didn't say, it doesn't say, it doesn't say or. No, or means do you speak like, Arabic? Do you, do you speak Arabic? This. This. It means it can do you speak this, Arabic? You talk too much, you say nothing. Does it? Do you speak Arabic? Brother, listen, do you, you speak, have to listen. Do you, you speak, speak Arabic? Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? What is the word or? Show me the word or. Let me get you busted in front of everybody. Show me the word or. Show me the word or. So I, I, will, I will put my hands up. Here we go. The verse in front of you. Which one is or? 
Okay, so first you need to. Okay, no, so don't tell me the first step. Show, there, there, show me the word or. There you can. Show me the word or. Bro, you don't are call just me brother. Don't, don't answer, brother me. Show me the, the verse in the front. If you in Arabic, you are an idiot who do not know what he's or, talking about. You are a liar, and you cannot prove what you are saying. Show me where the word or. Secondly, this is your Muslim translation saying and. So there is two and three and four. Wait, okay, what does that mean or? What does that mean or? You know, well, even if you say or, it's, 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 it's going to it's, English, right? even if you say or is going to end the same. Actually, that will make you no, make it more. No, or, will make it more bad for you. Not only you can say there is only two. There are only three. There are only or four. Right? Okay. Did, Which he, means did, that you did he stop? Say that did he stop with four? Did he stop with four? Bro, okay. So how does this make you claim that there are only three of them? Tell me. Because Allah says so. Because okay, let me ask you. As long there is many, so what the point? Allah saying there is two and three and four. But okay, listen, 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 listen. You talk too much. Don't make me hang up on you. We we cannot keep shouting. What the point? Allah saying there is two and and three and four. Don't talk too much. Let me finish. Let me finish. Shut up. You see, I hang up on you always because you are the same person. All those people who come from. A Pakistan, they do the same. Take a break. Why he is saying? Right why he is saying this? Two and three and four. If this is not the case, it doesn't say and, bro. Where where you are getting? It's in the front of you. Or, or it's in the front and of you. And my word. and by the way, even if you say or, it's the same because when you say or, that's mean the second option. Or, or okay, I will go with or. Let us see how smart you are. Or two or three or four. That's it. That's mean this is what you have. How does it make you claim that there are only three of them? It's the, you are the one who said or aren't you the one who is fighting for or okay I will well, go with or as long as Allah he says are, or you made a two claim that or three or four. four that's mean that's it we are done. Brother, look, <laughs> you made a claim that there are only two or there are three or only four. There's there's none else, and then I'm just making a claim that like, you can't just say there are only two. This is why it says this is why it's, it's not up to you. That's this this is what it says. This is what it says in the front of your eyes. This is what it says. But you like you have to look. Okay, okay. So let me. Okay, so let me read. He said, "Who made the angels messengers having wings? Right, mm. having wings. Mm. Two or three or mm. four means there is a there, there are angels who has two. Mm. There are angels who have three, mm. or there are angels who have four. So okay. you cannot say that like there are angels. They either have like two. Or three or four, there, there's nothing else. You cannot make that claim just by looking at words, because in the Quran, Allah Taala says, because we we created for different, so some of them, some of them different. So there are, so I, so as he was claiming, right, uh, that in the Hadith there are six hundred wings, right? Okay, let me ask you, how Muhammad he count the six hundred wings? You, how Muhammad, how Muhammad he count the six hundred wings? Yes, and uh, yeah, there are narrations because they are look every. Every angels, how Muhammad, how Muhammad, side. don't change the topic. How Muhammad he counted the 600 wings. You were, <laughs> are you serious? I don't know. I'm serious, yeah, because there is no way. If uh, so, you're so you're trying to say, I'm serious. If the angel did not say that to him, there's no way for a man to know because. He did not say that to him. Did the angel says I have six hundred wings? Look, your argument, your arg look. You see, your argument is a stupid because the interpretation, the interpretation in front of me, it says it clearly. This is the Muslim This is the Muslim interpretation. Shut up, you. You know, you speak too much. You can You don't let me talk. I will hang up on you if you keep like this. This is the interpretation in front of you. It says that this is correct, and this is even about Jibril. So your prophet is a liar. Isn't this is your interpretation? Saying that this is about Jibreel? So you're done? You this are, is you your interpretation speak? talking about Jibreel. Okay, so what are you asking though? Because you're like, I'm confused. Abdul, you're this is your interpretation around, saying that this verse is speaking know, specifically know. about Jibreel. Jibreel, and he count the names. Jibreel, and Mikael, and uh, 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 Seraphil. Yeah. Etc. The, the, the angel of uh, of uh, of thunder, the guardian angel. So that's it. So those Jibril is included. So he should have either two or three or four. Brother, so you are trying to say there are just only. I am not three trying three to say this is Ibn Abbas saying yeah. that. This is the, this is the cousin of your prophet saying that. Stop! Stop! Tell me, are you trying this? I'm showing you your interpretation. 
What did you show? What did you show right now? Yeah, this is a Jalalain. I was showing you a second ago, Ibn Abbas. All they, all they agree with me that this is Allah saying yeah. that angels have two and the three and four wings. That's it. Wait, so uh, so, who, so, who, so who are you? Who are you to say and to give me opinion which is not there? Do you have a scholar to support what you said to me? Brother, there are okay. So don't so brother me. Do you speak. have a scholar agree with you? Can I speak, brother? No, no, you cannot speak. I want reference. See, that's see, no, that's no, 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 no. You, 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 you are you speaking guys, for the last 20 minutes. We are repeating the same thing. Do you have a scholar to support you? I, I'm showing you your scholar. Do you have a scholar? I to need go? a scholar for that, brother. You those don't, are those are just a common thing. You don't have a common, yeah. This guy is familiar with the angels, guys. There's no need for a scholar. He's come, you know, he's, he's a prophet. He knew. I mean, there's no need to scholars. <laughs> Take, take, take a hike, take a hike. So, you see, when we ask them, where you get this from? It's their fabrication trying to solve a problem. Actually, all tafsir of the Quran is to defend Islam, not to explain. Those tafsir, because the Christians and the Jews and people around Muhammad, they start dying of laughing at Muhammad. So, Ibn Kathir, all of it, it's not to explain the Quran, it's to defend the Quran. Yet, after he defend, he make it more horrible. And this is exactly what this guy is doing. There's no need uh, for a scholar. It's common sense. What common sense? <laughs> what common sense? If there is an angel with 600 wings and he is the one who delivered that message, exact that message to Muhammad. Why he, he forgot to add, oh, I forgot there's a guy, his name is Jibri with 600 wings. Because the one who delivered this message already have 600 wings. Not tomorrow we'll have it. It is Jibreel who delivered it. So if you are saying to me, I am God and my angels are with two and three and four, and this is not the case, so Allah is a stupid because he made us confused about what he meant. Because obviously it's not two and not three and not four. They are 600. And the only angel he sent down to earth is Jibreel. So he mentioned to us angels, they are not to deliver messages. The verse there says, we appointed angels to as messengers. That means there's no, not only one messenger, there's many angels are messengers. But the most important messengers and the only one we heard of from Muhammad, he came to Muhammad, is Jibreel. Muhammad did not receive revelation from any messenger except Jibreel. So what the point of saying that to me and without mentioning what Jibreel had? He forgot about Jibreel that he has six. And there is a huge difference between two and three and four and 600 wings. There is a huge difference in the number. Look, uh, Mr. Qasim is sending me text. He's saying, uh, the ayah mentioned that Hadrul Sallallahu uh, uh, etc. Prophet something himself claiming that it, it be from Allah then Allah should have destroyed him. The cutting of the artery connected to the heart is an except, ex, expression of death. Uh, Rasulullah uh, SOW uh, uh, mentioned that in this hadith, he's feeling the effect of the poison. When Rasulullah stated, I still feel this indicate uh, uh, a continuation, Rasulullah had the practin. Of food, certain of poison for a few years, few point of uh, uh, to mention. There's nothing here about a negotiation prophethood. This is a stupid talk. Come to daddy. First of all, when you're a prophet saying, I die because of the poison, you have to obey. This is your prophet. The Quran says, whatever he say, you obey and you take. So are you accusing your prophet to be a liar? When your prophet, he is saying that what killed me, what killing me is the poison, it has to be the poison. Otherwise, you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. They go to articles and they copy and paste. Yes, Muhammad. Yes. Um, so regarding the iota, mm. um, I'll ask the scholar this question. You ask the said, scholar, uh, when you ask the scholar, when you ask said, him, when you ask him, no, hold on, when, when, when you ask him, when you ask the scholar, hmm? when you ask the scholar, you said you ask the scholar. Yeah, I asked him uh, when it's been over, over a few months ago. 
asked this question. But you, long time. just five minutes ago, you were talking to me. You did not uh, answer. Uh, you did not tell me the scholar says this. You could not answer anything. What happened? Let me tell you what no, happened. You went to Google Scholar, and you searched for article. No, no. Okay, now what the scholar told you? Go ahead. Yeah. So he basically said here. Um, the the fact that Allah in the Quran uh, where Allah says that uh, He would quote the iota if the Prophet was forging anything, this is talking about you know directly He would have killed him there, there and then He wouldn't be feeling the pain and then going if for three years ah, and still living. Guys, He will not so feel the pain. He will not go for three years. No, like Allah He says, I will kill him as a punishment in this way. He did not say now. He did not say the, after one hour. And you Muslims are so desperate to defend, but this is a funny defense because he says, certainly I will kill him. But he did not say when. Does it say in yeah, the verse see, when? Yeah, Does it say in the see. verse immediately? Yeah, he says here, Imam al uh, 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 My friend, whatever he says, whatever he says, listen. Does it say in the verse anywhere that Allah will kill him immediately? Yeah, Allah says that he's, he would grab him by the right hand hmm. and then he would, uh, 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 you know, by his uh, Yamini and then he would hmm. cut the iota. So he would cut it on the spot. So what the Prophet was saying was something else. The Prophet saying, I can feel. Okay, um, so I will go I with you. The, so you are saying now, so you are saying now that you're a prophet at the moment when he died by poison. This is the moment Muhammad was a fabricator and Allah killed him at that moment because he decided to lie. No, no, iota is used as an expression of death. <laughs> no, this is what you said. This is this is what you just said. Listen, listen. This what you said is more stupid, actually, because you just said to me that Allah will will kill Muhammad immediately when he fabricate. But the killing happened, and the killing happened exactly as Muhammad said. If he fabricate, Allah will kill him. So it doesn't matter. He kill him after four years, or he kill him immediately. Still, he kill him exactly the same way as he promised. If Muhammad is a fraud, if Muhammad fabricate Quran in our name, we will kill him. As you say, you are the one who said immediately like this, and this how Muhammad died. No, he did. So he says uh, Allah will uh, cut the iota, like he'll grab him straight away. If he was forging anything, he'll grab friend, him. He died him. by that way. Don't tell me. Are you saying your prophet was lying? Are you saying your prophet when he said my orta is cutting off? He's lying at that moment. He's not saying he's cutting off. If he was cutting no, off, it he says, I feel uh, you want you want him to say that after he die, after it cut off, he cannot talk. What's wrong with you? So he's saying to you what he feel in the moment. What he feel in the moment that his orta is cutting off. And this is what happened to him. So Muhammad question, described. Listen, 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 feel, listen. Are you, you saying to me? Are you saying to me? You want Muhammad after he died to wake up and tell us how he died or before he died? Do, do you know? Do you know what iota is? Yes, I know. It's connected to the heart. If once it's caught, it's, it's, it's straight away. Yes, a person dies. With yes, the but, uh, how do you how do you feel the cutting? That's the question. You ask your prophet. Are you saying your prophet is a liar? No, I'm saying the prophet meant this as an expression of death. Expression, but he mentioned a part of his body, specific part. He did not say his ass. He did not say his head. He did not say his nose. He said that part. That's mean this is the part. Are you saying your prophet is ignorant? He do not know what he feel. No, I'm saying that this was expression of death. That's what I'm saying. Like expression, says, uh, he meant it. Expression, I feel as if my altar, which because because it's obviously is not cut off it's cut off he will be dead but the pain is there he is suffering from that area this is what he meant so later obviously and it says here in his element which he died so when he died he used to say not once not twice like it's not a mistake he was repeating this he used to say oh Aisha I still feel the, the pain caused by the food I ate in Khaybar at this time I feel as if my orta is being cut off and this is exactly what the Quran said. If Muhammad inventing Quran, according to you, Muhammad in that morning, Muhammad he invent Quran. So Allah decided to kill him. Thank you very much, uh, Qasim, for the call. Take care. <laughs> this is after all the work. He worked hard. Guys, Allah will kill him immediately. Okay, Allah kill him immediately. Have fun. <laughs> If this is the birth, if they, Allah will kill him. Allah will kill him immediately. If he lied, okay, he kill him immediately. After four years, Allah decide now he will kill him. Now, <laughs> okay, <laughs> immediately.
<laughs> and immediately he died. Uh, <laughs> you see, the problem they don't have the intelligence which you can consider in, as intelligence. They don't know what they eat. I know, like the second you join this religion, you something will happen to you. Will Allah kill him immediately? If Allah is the one who killed him, according to you. But let me tell you, tell you the good news: it's not Allah who killed him. Allah doesn't exist. Allah he cannot even kill a fly. Allah cannot kill a fly. You know how many times I challenge Allah to kill me? Uh, now, if I die tomorrow, the Muslim they will say, "See, Christian Prince, he died." He challenged. I challenged him since more than 23, 24 years ago, since I was a kid. In front of Muslim, I said, "Okay, if your God Allah is really what he because." The reason I, I made this challenge because the Quran says that Christians, if you don't believe in me, Allah will erase your face. So I said to the Muslims, okay, hmm, I challenge your Allah to erase my face. I will give Allah 24 hours. I will give Allah 20, uh, uh, tw uh, you know, uh, 20 days, uh, one month. When Allah is going to erase our faces, he made a threat 1400 years ago to the Christian specifically saying if you don't believe in Muhammad I will erase your face I will erase your eyes I will erase, your nose will go inside your head he did it do you see it this is 1400 years ago and not even a single Christian this has happened to him so Muhammad he made a threat trying to scare the Christian saying if you don't believe in me Allah will erase your faces and same as we did to the people of the Sabbath this is not about this is this is clear that this is not about the judgment day because the people who break the Sabbath Allah made them pigs and monkeys before not in the judgment day so he threatened them that Allah will curse them and will erase their faces but nothing happened we can prove easy to any Muslim that Muhammad is a fraud Muhammad, he says, if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head the head of a donkey. Okay, go do it. I assure you, there's millions of Muslims every day, they raise their head before the Imam. And not even one, his head turned to be the head of a donkey. Obviously, Muhammad, he trying to fool those naive people. This is a statement of an ignorant man. He must be stupid, ignorant, and his followers must be ignorant like him. To believe that he's saying the truth who's going to believe in this who's going to believe in this how you can like imagine imagine you cannot say this such a statement for somebody is gonna you know he's greek the greek they will die laughing at you they are smart educated people but those bedouin arab you know my people eh, naive but even the naive ones many of them did not believe in this garbage if you raise your head before the Imam, aren't you afraid that Allah will transform your head to a head of a donkey? Why? Why Allah will transform his head to head of a donkey? Like what happened exactly? The guy is a praying to Allah. He bent his head down, his ass up to Allah. And now just because he raised his head before the Imam, you will make his head the head of a donkey. Why you don't make it the head of a duck? Work, work. What about the head of a giraffe? What is this? What kind of a threat this threat is? This is even if you say that to kids, it's not going to work. Once I have a teacher because I, when I was a kid, I was like a troublemaker. The teacher she took me, you know, in the in the Middle East, they they do things they don't do here in America or. So uh, oh, supposedly I was a bad boy. So she took me to the mice room. They scared the kids with the mice room. There's a dark room under the stairs, dark. There's no light, and there's like all the chairs, like you know, storage, like storage room. So if you are doing something bad, they jail you inside it, like for 15, 20 minutes, up to the teacher. So she took me there. She put me under the stair for 15, 20 minutes, and supposedly I would be terrified by the mice because there's mice inside. When when she opened the door, I have a mice in my hand. I throw it in her uh, in her chest, <laughs> and the teacher went so crazy. <laughs> she was she was running like crazy. She wanted to scare me by the mice. I was playing with the mice. I captured the mice. I was playing with it. 
she opened the door I throw it in her in her chest so Muhammad wanna, wanna scare us by the mice I will make your head the head of a donkey okay go ahead Go ahead. Mice. They are cute, actually. The mice was like, <laughs> she was like, I don't know why people get scared of them. Mickey Mouse. Do you see this is a religion? This is a this is a guy who speak wisdom. Flying carpet, make your head the head of a donkey. Those who broke the Sabbath, Allah make them pigs and monkeys. Monkeys who have sexual um, a female monkey, she committed sexual relationship. Illegal sexual relationship. Are you serious? Are you serious, brother? A female monkey, brother. She was cheating her husband, Mr. Chapanzi. Guys, if you if you read the story here, they don't quote the story really. The story here does not exist. They just tell you the hadith. But the story is long. The story is if you have my book Six and Allah, you can read it. Where uh, there's a female monkey and her she she uh, her husband was sleeping over her arm. Look at the romantic like romance. Mr. Gorilla and then another monkey came from behind the tree and like and she have a big banana and brother those monkeys cannot resist but big banana so she left her her hand under her husband head slowly and she went behind the tree and they do boom boom and then she came back brother but when she came back, brother, she inserted her hand under the head of the husband and he did not notice. But the brother, Allah, he made the chimpanzee male, the husband, the smell, sniff, he sniffed like the smell of a sperm. So he started, he started calling all the chimpanzees in the Arabian desert. And they came from everywhere, from Mecca, from Medina, from even the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. He received a fax. We, 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 a female monkey. She committed adultery. Everybody came. And they captured her and they stoned her. And this Abdul, this Muslim, he stoned her with them too. Look, it says it's in front of you. She committed illegal sexual intercourse. She committed what? Ill, a monkey, a, mo a monkey, she committed illegal sexual intercourse. Fi Muslim, ismu Zain Khir, ya, ya, isma, Zain Khir, Zain Tir, law kan fi Khir, ma ramah al Tir, law rijal khaliya tasl fiya. Illegal sexual intercourse. A female monkey should we stone chicken too you know what I saw in the other day a female dog having sex around with a bunch of dogs should we stone them brother like what Islam is a religion brother I mean Islam is not a stupid religion this is the real religion this is the real deal how in the world any human being can believe in such a garbage? What's wrong with people? That's not said by the prophet. Your prophet, he said more ugly. Do you want me to show you more stupid things your prophet, he said? Did your prophet, he convert the tree to Islam and the tree said shahada? <laughs> Did your prophet, he convert the lizard to Islam and the lizard, he was dead and he said shahada? Huh? Did your prophet speak to the cow? And the cow, she witnessed that he's a prophet? Or oh, sorry, the camel? <laughs> and my friend, what do you mean this is not the prophet? The Quran says so. Even the Quran says, let me show you, you are an ignorant. All of you Muslims are ignorant. You do not know your religion. 
The Quran says that all animals are Muslims and they have Quran. You don't read your book. Chapter 6, verse number 38. It is not an animal in earth, nor a flying creature of flying on two wings. Two wings? What happened with the four wings? But they are people like into you. We have they, we have neglected nothing of the book. <laughs> They are people like you and they have messages and messengers and they are Muslims. This is what the Quran is saying. Do you see it? Being a Muslim submitting to Allah, that's a lie. Let me answer you from the Quran. You see, everything you say to me, I get you busted from the Quran. Being a Muslim is not about submission, it's about surrender. And this is why Muhammad, he said, you do not need to believe in Allah. You just surrender. You just surrender. Chapter 94, oh, sorry, 49, you see, this is your translation, which is fast translation, but I will read it for you, as long as you use the word submit. The wonder in Arab, they say, we believe, say, oh, to them, to Muhammad. You believe not, but, but rather say we submit. Do you see it? <laughs> and by the way, the word submit is what? Allah saying, don't say we believe, say we are Muslims. وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمْ يَدْخُلُوا الْإِيمَانَ قُلُوبَكُمْ Say, we are Muslim. Don't say we believers. So Islam teach that you should not say, you know, it's, it's not necessarily to be a believer, to be a Muslim. The Arab says, we are be, we believe. Muhammad said to them, Allah told me to say to you, say, you believe not, okay? But you became a Muslim. Uh, well, you know, you, you are going to make me block you from the chat, uh, Muslim proper one. You say Jesus was a Muslim because this is an insult to my Lord. Take care. You have to come with a new name now. If Jesus was a Muslim, then he should have four wives. He should have six with six years old girl. He should be a thief. He should be a criminal. He should be kidnapping women from their husband, the same as Muhammad did. Then you can say Jesus was a Muslim. Otherwise, you are just saying that to insult him. When somebody is a Muslim, he should believe in the same belief and behave the same behave as Muhammad. Isn't Muhammad the best man of mankind? Okay, the best man of mankind, he has six years old girl child. He kidnap women from their husband. He raped them. He soiled them. He exchanged them. He even give them out for free. And he exchanged them even for a ring for his friends. So how Jesus was a Muslim? That is just, that is just a comment to insult. Jesus, he said totally the opposite. Everything Jesus taught is totally the opposite. Jesus said, it's not what go to your mouth, make you dirty, it's what come from your mouth. Muhammad, he is just trying to copy the Jews. This is how we do it. The Jews believe in what they come to their mouth and make them dirty. So he have the understanding of the Jews because he's trying to copy them. When Muhammad, he practiced Ashura, the fasting, just because the Jews did it. Then he heard from Salman al-Farisi about Ramadan. So he stopped practicing Ramadan, and he dumped that. All right? Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, number six, uh, Gamer, uh, please don't post in Arabic. I don't care about those people. If you have people, they want to talk to me, uh, you know, they all will come to call me. Otherwise, we don't want this uh, comment in Arabic. Don't tell me there's a guy he says and there's a God he says and that guy he debate that guy. I don't care. I'm here. My Skype is open and that's it. No place for kids talk. If you have somebody who have a long beard, grab him from it and let him call me. And I will talk to Allah because I speak Arabic, as you know. I will talk to Allah to give you a lot of version as a reward for you. 
like maybe 10 versions big and beautiful hmm? and there's 30 days warranty for the version if they are not versions you know you can check them you can put them in the bathroom and see if there's any bubbles will come to see if they are versions versions right yeah this is the God who give versions and you believe in God provide versions Now, we cannot make a compare between Jesus and Muhammad because that will be an insult. However, you do not need to compare. I mean, look at that in front of you. This is how crazy this religion is. This guy, he forced them to convert to Islam, and now they are converted. And he is saying to them, don't lie to me. You don't believe in Islam, but you became Muslim. You don't believe. You became The verse in the front of you. That will summarize all this cult for you. Those people, they've been forced to, and then their kids after that, who dare to leave. It's a gang. It's a fear. Islam is stay because of fear. Take the fear out, Islam is gone. It's all about fear. They try to intimidate you. They try to shut you down. They keep reporting you in YouTube, trying to take your videos as if this is okay. You know, take my video. I will. I have a. I have a thousand channels to go live. You think you can stop me? It take me two minutes, and people they knew how to find me easy. Wherever I go, people will go. You think I can stop me? You think Allah can stop me? <clears throat> hmm. This is how we do it. If God cannot die, how Jesus die? Okay, thank you, Mirza. Guys, he Mirza is a Muslim, he have a question for us. But here I will show you the lack of intellect when Muslim they ask those questions let me put his question up in the screen where is his question mr. Mirza where is Mirza <coughs> where is his text man this uh, the software I use for uh, broadcasting it doesn't show me really the text jump Anyway, so Mirza is saying, if God cannot die, how Jesus die? Thank you very much. According to Islam, Jesus never die. That's mean he's God. So if this is your logic, that God cannot die. Guys, did he say that? If God cannot die, so how Jesus die? But you forgot that in your religion, based on your logic, Jesus did not die, so this is the proof that he's God. So if you reject Jesus to be God because he died, well, in your religion, he did not die. So now you have to accept Jesus as God. Because in according to the yellow pages of Muhammad, Jesus did not die. Secondly, Abdul, when we say that Jesus died, the flesh of Jesus died. God is exists before the flesh. Isn't it the Bible says that Jesus says before Abraham I am? So before his birth, he exists. So what die is the flesh, but the Messiah is exist. His existence have nothing to do with the moment of birth. The flesh which die is the one who is born of Mary. God don't die. The flesh die. This is why it's called resurrection. For us is not a problem because we believe that God is a spirit. Your God is not a spirit. So God is always alive. This is why Jesus says, I am the life. How you can kill the life? You cannot. This is why he came back to us to show us that he can overcome death. No grave can contain him. No grave can hold him. And no death can take him. That is Jesus. And in your cult, Jesus never dies. So either way you choose it, Jesus must be God. If you say, if Jesus is a, no, but because how Jesus is just a man for you, but he did not die until now, you will say to me, this is the plan of Allah. Thank you. Nice to meet you with your plan. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Any uh, smarter? I'm waiting for somebody smart.
if God so in uh, present, uh, why on earth people need the Christian prince? Who said that they need me, my friend Jason? You are silly. Nobody need the Christian prince. Who is a Christian prince? Nobody need me. Who said that you need me? You need God, not me. I'm here to explain with my little knowledge what I know. If you think you do not need me, Your Majesty, why you are here? I mean, why you are here? You must be crazy. Like, who in the world need a Christian prince? So why you are here? <laughs> you know, you are like a guy who went to McDonald's and says to yourself, why we need McDonald's? But you are in McDonald's, you idiot. So if you do not need McDonald's, why you go to McDonald's? Go to Burger King. <laughs> Unbelievable. I mean, <clears throat> brain is a gift. Obviously, you have it. I don't. Unbelievable. Don't get married, okay? Your wife, she will throw you from the window of the kitchen. She will, trust me. In the best scenario, uh, if she did not throw you from the uh, the window of the kitchen, uh, uh, you know she will she will she will put you for sale in eBay. Do we have anyone want to say anything? <clears throat> Can you show that a Muslim is asking me? Can you show the Trinity in the Bible? <laughs> My friend, I do not need to show it. Go read the first two or three verses in the Bible, you will see them. You Muslims are really a bunch of ignorant when you talk about your religion. So, how about ours? Your religion, look, the Muslim they say Allah has no spirit, but the Quran says Allah He sent His spirit. Contradiction. He never said I send an angel, his name is Jibreel. He said we send our spirit to Mary. And our spirit appeared to her as a perfect man. The Muslim they say Allah has no spirit. The Bible says that God is a spirit. Go from the first book of the Bible, book of Genesis. God created the earth and the heaven, and his spirit was above the water. God the Father, he appeared. As a man in many places in the Bible and he appeared specifically to Abraham too. three they came to Abraham three not one and Abraham bowed down call him my Lord my God when the Messiah he took baptism by John the Baptist a voice from the sky and a bird appear and says this is my only begotten son the Bible is all over full of verses about the father the son and the Holy Spirit and this is the same for the Jews no Jews can deny that God appear as a man no one can deny that God is called the father and nobody can deny that he is a spirit and he has a spirit that is the Trinity it's all over the Bible and not only that the Quran actually in, uh, like by luck you know I'm not looking for it in front of us on the screen chapter 4 verse 171 it says that Jesus is a three but yet he is one he is a three but he is one in the same time so if the Muslim believe that it's impossible to be three and one in the same time that's mean the Quran is a fabricated book Look what the Quran says about Jesus. Jesus is the word of God. He is a messenger of Allah. He is a messenger of Allah as what? As a man. Okay, so this is the man. And he is his word. So before Jesus become a man, he was a word. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. He is a spirit of God. So how he is the word, he is the messenger, he is the man, and he is the spirit, three in one. Word, the spirit, and the flesh. How three can be one? How come it is impossible to be three and one when you want, it is possible when you want? You see the hypocrisy? If it's impossible, it should be always impossible. This is a three. 
how Jesus is a messenger yet he is a spirit of God you see here it says spirit proceeding from him which means the spirit is spirit of God and this is why the only person in Islam his name Ruhullah the spirit of Allah is Jesus you can ask anyone you can ask any Muslim Muhammad he says Ya Ruhullah wa kalimatahu oh, oh the spirit of Allah oh the word of Allah that is Jesus. Even Muhammad, he called Jesus by such a name. Muhammad is not the spirit of Allah. He is not the word of Allah. Only Jesus. So how he is the word, he is spirit, and he is the man. And if you Muslim, you will say that God cannot be three person, but one. Well, you are telling God what he can be. That is against even believing in God because it's not you who tell God what he can be or he cannot Like why the Muslim don't ask God how come he is alive, but he don't have a spirit because you cannot be alive without spirit This is what spirit is about is life You see when Allah he speak about Creating a life what he says he breathe Okay, how Allah is not a human and he don't have lung and he breathe anyone can answer Allah breathe from where any Muslim can answer when Allah he breathe he breathe from where Hmm? Did you ask yourself uh, this, this question before? I'm sure you did not. We breathe into him of my spirit, my spirit. What is that? <laughs> he breathed in him from my spirit. What is that? Madness. Stupidity. Because if you say Allah is not a physical being, and then we find that Muhammad saying yes, he's a physical being. He have five fingers, he have a leg, he have two hands in the right. The Muslim they have a tons of misunderstanding of their God, and then Allah don't have a spirit. So, but he's how he say he breathed into him from my spirit. And what we breathe, Allah breathe from where? What you breathe? I breathe, you breathe. In order for Allah to breathe, he have to have a lung. He breathed from where? Any Muslim have an answer? Allah breathed from where? I don't want to make you dizzy with my questions because most of the Muslims who listen to us, they are not in that level. They can go, you know, to that to that level of uh, thinking. They, they will have headache and they might collapse. They might have heart attack. This is all is stupid because, and this is exactly how Jesus he created in the Quran. In the Quran, it says that Jesus he breathed into the mud, and he make it a bird. He breathed. Jesus himself he breathed. This is exactly how Jesus he create, and this is can be located in two chapters in the Quran. Chapter 3, verse 49, chapter 5, 110. Jesus, he said, and I breathe. He make, he fashion a, a, a mud, a figure of a, a, from mud, of a bird. And I breathe into it. Breathing is life. From the breathe of Jesus, life come. Not from the breathe of Allah. This is what the verse is saying. How Jesus can give life by breathing, unless he's God. What is inside the lung of Jesus will give life. You tell me. The Muslim, they will say to you, it doesn't say here by the leave of Allah, who care? This is your statement. You can say right now that Christian Prince is attacking Allah by the leave of Allah. Prove it. <laughs> Christian Prince, he drive his car by the leave of Allah. 
Christian Prince, he went to the bathroom by the leave of Allah. Prove it. Christian Prince now is touching his nose by the leave of Allah. Toes by the leave of Allah. Christian Prince is scratching his uh, uh, shoulder by the leave of Allah. That's your claim. But what is confirmed to us that Jesus he can create and the Bible confirmed the same Jesus Jesus he gave the eyes to the blind man he gave him new eyes the guy is burned is sorry is born blind the guy who cannot walk he just said to him walk that is Jesus carry your bed and run which one is easier to say your sin is forgiven or carry your bed and run Forgiving sin and the Muslim they say to you where Jesus says I'm God Anyway, did we have a good uh, time guys together today? Did we have a good time? Don't forget to give us a like we have only 737 like I mean are you are you serious? Okay, I will give you two seconds to give us a like. Otherwise, I'm going to uh, ask Allah to make you all uh, Mickey Mouse or to erase your faces. Let me talk to Allah in Arabic. Allah. Allah. Okay, guys, Allah is now, it's because, I, 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 sorry, I forgot, he's in Saudi Arabia, we have different time, it's very late for him, I'm going to ask him to do that to you tomorrow, okay, I apologize, I apologize, he's, okay. uh, uh, Afran, he's saying, is the miracle of Jesus make him God, my friend, the miracle of Jesus, that he himself is the miracle, and that make him God, because God is a miracle. Don't you notice that Jesus himself is a miracle? You see, there's a prophet, they had miracles, but none of them is a miracle except Jesus. That is God, my friend. Did you ask yourself why Jesus, he has no father? Oh, Adam, he has no father. No, 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 no. Adam is not the first, he is not the, the person who is first born or last born. He is not born at all. Jesus is born. Why he don't have a father? What is behind this miracle? Because he himself is the miracle. He is pure. Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Your prophet says so. Jesus is not the son of Adam. And he is not a homosexual relationship. The reason for that, because he is different. From all those who we knew. So Jesus, he is not God because of his miracle, but his miracle confirmed that he is God. Because anyone can claim to be God. Correct? I can claim to be God too. You can claim to be God. But then the question is, can you do what God do? So the miracles of Jesus confirm what he said about himself. Otherwise, Jesus said, my witness have no value for myself. What is what is value for if I witness to myself? But my father witnessed for me. How the father witnessed for him? He gave him, he said, he gave me the authority that all what my father can do, I can do. That is God. So he is holy. That is God. He is pure, that is God. He have no sin, that is God, because no man is perfect. Every man commits sin, including me and you. Every woman commits sin, all the women, including my mother and your mother. Everybody in this earth is a sinner. We are no angels. Even angels in Christianity, we have a fallen down angels. There is only one, he commit no sin. That is God, my friend. <clears throat> what about the priest in the Bible who had no father? Because this is you have a wrong understanding. He have no father. That's mean they don't, they don't know who is his father. A person, 
he do not he's not known for them all what they knew that he is a good person and there's many people they have different opinion who is this guy but they do not know who is he this is not about a person who have no father really and if it is literally he have no father it might be the Messiah himself he came in different form as he came to Abraham as God he came to Abraham didn't God he came to Abraham as a man and he came to other prophets he did the Bible speak of that anyway I think we have a good time together and uh, uh, how many of you did subscribe to uh, to our channel tonight uh, please if you subscribe don't felt uh, don't forget to unsubscribe because Allah will double your reward if you unsubscribe from infidel channel if you like to have a double reward brother subscribe and unsubscribe because the Quran says Allah will delete the bad deed and you will double it with good deed if you do one deed to delete the bad deed so subscribing to me is a bad deed and subscribe will get to the look how smart we are <laughs> so this is what you should do like spend the whole day subscribe and subscribe subscribe by the morning you will find like 100,000 deed in the bank of Allah and you know what I will shave my 100 foot beard if you can cash it from that bank just wait for that bank to open it's going to open one day the deed of Allah you are right the deeds the bank of stupidity thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and remember that we are we are and we should always love the Muslims for you know we don't we are not here to attack the Muslims no the Muslims they need our help they are victims of the lies of the man his name is Muhammad they need your help and my help not your cursing not your anger not a bad word that will not help we should not we should not fail into the trap of hate we are not here to hate anyone we are here to tell the truth and the truth will set us free and because we love the muslims we invite them to the best we have that is the messiah not because we hate them if somebody hate you he will not invite you to the best who is the best the messiah how I hate you and yet I invite you to the best no way so we should always remember that that we are here to you know to 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 reach out in the same time to destroy evil to fight lies we are here against lies we are not against people that this is the devil what what Jesus said the father of all lies who is he is the devil they are victims of the lies of the devil so we need to help them to see the truth and look if you see how many Muslims leave Islam every day like sadly I cannot show you how many they contact me says we left Islam because they ask me you know like many of them they say life on air because you know everybody have his own situation they bend where they live but I have tons of Muslims they contact me almost every day saying thank you I'm out of Islam people I never I never heard of when when somebody he is willing to say in life on air we let him say that and we don't tell people where is he from and I never ask people are they from actually uh, for their security but the truth is they are leaving they are leaving in big numbers the world is a changing and the internet cause a big damage to Islam you see the most time they try especially those who make a big business from it to to make you uh, like uh, to use the internet to pro you know to promote Islam and actually they did a huge propaganda a lot of money like videos about science and the Quran blah 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 but slowly slowly and then people they discover that all of this is a fraud and actually I want to say thank you for those people who make the fraud because if not their fraud I will not make my books I made my books as an answer for their fraud like Quran and science and depth why I made this book to answer about the fraud of science
it is the Muslim who invite me to come to you too actually everything I did against Islam is because Muslim they invite me to do it you believe it or not I used to uh, uh, to uh, have a chat room to teach about uh, Christianity and Islam in a program long time ago it's called hear me and then a Muslim he came he says I challenge you to come to uh, pal talk I never heard of this pal talk before I went to pal talk I opened a room in the, uh, in the in the English section in less than six months everyone who ever converted to Islam in the last few years left Islam and in the top of that we have many admins in the Muslim chat rooms who try to promote Islam they became Christians six months and then the Muslims they start signing uh, letters to pal talk ban this guy tens of thousands of uh, emails and letters sent to pal talk to ban me then pal talk you know they I mean it's a long story like they try really to stop me and they ban me and then they receive pal talk themselves uh, like many they told them we will sue you like American people etc so they found that this is really is getting out of hand and they left the ban from me they try to stop me in every way even they offer me hundreds of thousands of dollars just take it and go I did not I open a chat room and pal talk at least I think 13 to 14 years I mean we are not talking about a month or two every day every day every day at least 10 hours at that time you know like uh, like now we are we receive donation but at that time I don't have any every day sometime honest to God I come from work Friday afternoon I go to the computer I close my computer Monday in the morning it's hard to believe I eat my sandwiches I make coffee to stay awake because nobody want to leave and people leave in Islam like crazy People go to sleep, they come back, Christian Prince still talking. <laughs> the Lord, he provided us with a, with a strength to do what we did. And thank you, Lord, we were able to do it. But, you know, I don't know how many of you used to be in Pal Talk with me, if any remember. But it was really a great time. And we made a lot of accomplishment. Uh, you know, but I think YouTube is better because imagine if we recorded all those hours, all those years in YouTube like now. You know what I mean? Because that will be great for the benefit of those who come after. Because there we were having more debates because like people, they can, it's a chat room. A chat room by voice. You know, people, they can talk, even they can open their camera. So it was very good, very useful and very damaging to Islam very anyway I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until I see you again I don't know if I will go tomorrow I want to uh, because I, I'm busy working in a book it's called Allah justice and I'm trying to finish it as soon as I can so I might you know if you if you don't see me for a day or two or three don't be worry don't worry be happy okay I'm working for something good even when the Muslim they try to ban me from YouTube trust me if you if you ban me from YouTube even like you can't ban me I mean I, I have many channels but let us say for the sake of argument that will give me more time to make more, more books and that will be more damaging <laughs> I already have thousands of videos I do not need to make more so if it's about videos I don't care really if I make more or, or less I, like you, if you type my name in YouTube, you get scared about how many videos there. I will make more books, so they will stay forever. People can read them, enjoy them, and the information will go through generations to come. Christian Prince, sooner or later, he will die, and we are dead already. Actually, and Jesus said, "Let the dead bury the dead." The second you are born is the same second you are dead we are dead so I am working for what is after so people will not be left without 
Christian prince even after he died. So we can help them and we will be remembered for good. We will be remembered by the Lord himself and those after that to come and remember that this is our work. Time come, time go, time fast, and you grow and you are dead. Never fear death. Death means nothing to me actually. It's just another, like let's say, uh, another trip with the Lord. And uh, the Lord, he says, whoever die and believe, he will live. So never fear death. And actually, for maybe I should make a, a special video about it. I noticed that those who fear death, death come to them. Those who they, they fear, they have a phobia of diseases, phobia of, phobia of death. He's scared. He's so worried. Those are the ones who die first. And those who are not worried, they live. You as a believer, if you are a believer, you should not be worried about your death unless you are a false believer and you are not ready. If you are a person who believe, why you want to worry about your death? And what death mean? I mean, why you are worried? It's going to happen anyway. You will not die twice. You will die anyway. Actually, I advise people to go to graveyard from time to time because a human being became so greedy and so filthy and so arrogant to the point he forgot that one day they will dig a hole and dump you there and people will forget about you. This is who you are. So he's so proud. He spent a lot of money in his fashion, in his clothing. He think he will live forever. He big, big, fancy, uh, you know, he spent 10, 10 years to build this house. I mean, he will not live even those 10 years to live in it. And then what happened? You die, they put you in the box, they steal your watches, they steal all the expensive you have, they, they, they take your house, and those who hate you, they will laugh at you. You saved your money to no one. Uh, Muhammad, don't tell me about your graveyard, because Muhammad, according to your prophet in the grave, uh, uh, there is two angels they will come and they will beat you with the hammer maybe next time I go online mr. Uh, Muhammad we will talk about this committee according to Muhammad when a Muslim he go in the grave two angels they come and ask him three questions and each time he answer wrong they will beat him in the hammer in his head okay Muhammad as long you are the one who choose this next time I go in life Life on air, I will talk about this comedy which mentioned by your prophet, which is proving him to be again as a false prophet. Two angels and the quiz, the quiz of death. Maybe this will be a good title to speak about it. See, the Muslim they remind me always of good topics. Thank you, Muhammad. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you all, and I will see you soon again. Uh, Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see ya. Bye bye.